board call to order the library building committee. It is Thursday, September 12th, but it's three o'clock. This is going to be a hybrid meeting. It's being held at Old Town Hall as well as on Zoom. The listing of matters on these are those recently anticipated by the chair, which may be discussed at the meeting. Not all items listed may in fact be discussed, and other items not listed may also be brought up for discussion to the extent permitted by law. I'm going to ask for a roll call of the members of the uh, building committee, starting with Ron. Ron O'Connor, from chair. Jonathan. Jonathan Gale, APA coordinator. Thank you, as a star commission. I'm right next to you today. Thank <laughs> you, Chico. Oh, I skipped you. Always Mark Buck, I love you. Mark Tavares. Thank you. Call the order of the meeting of the library trustees. Ron O'Connor, chair. And Lance and trustee. Mayor Rouge, trustees. Well, I said the word to stand in front of you. I'd like to lead to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Update on the project works for us. Starting with the building infrastructure. Jim, do you want to? Sure. I saw the little thing when I had a chance to go by. Uh, we made significant progress on the uh, stairway entrances. We tried to mirror the um, picture that was given by Mrs. Gales uh, as close as possible, but we used uh, uh, materials that were uh, uh, today. So, Instead of using fur, we used uh, what we call AZAP, which is rather uh, resistant. We wanted to go with some type of, we, we had talked about some type of um, weather resistant uh, hardwood material for decking, such as uh, an exotic wood or something. Uh, we, we can't afford that. So <clears throat> I uh, called up my uh, colleagues over at the um, supply houses, found that there's a commercial grade pressure treated decking, which is a little bit thicker than the normal decking, much more stable than the uh, decking that we normally buy at home center. So that's what we went with. Um, in order to try and give it a little more pizzazz than just pressure treated decking, um, I'm not sure if anyone looked at the steps. I uh, unfortunately don't have pictures, I'm sorry, but we did a little detail with the steps to give it a little more um, curb appeal, so to speak. Uh, it looks phenomenal. It has doing a really good that's job. Good. Yeah. yeah. We uh, the AZAC, we picture frame the AZAC, did some bed molding. So this is it's really going to represent the building well. The um, existing ramp was was partially demoed, um, less than what we thought was salvageable. However, we did uh, we were able to salvage some of it. Um, the ramp, if you may or may not uh, remember or you may not be aware, the ramp in its uh, previous state would uh, impede with the window operations. So in conversing with the contractor, we decided to um, move the ramp, but in such a way that didn't require dismantling of the entire ramp. So that was done. So now those windows can be operable. It's further away from the building than it was. Uh, and we did that without relocating footings or any of the substructure. So uh, we really put our heads together on that. The uh, existing ramp has been reversed has a learning area, it's going back towards the employee entrance, um, and that's all coming together uh, pretty well. So, would it be appropriate to talk about the cost for the ramps at this time? Well, I was going to ask you that question. Yeah, okay, yeah, so I do have a lot of information to that, so. So, just for some background, <clears throat> uh, we don't need to rehash uh, the MMT experience, but what I'm finding is that as I go through the lines a little more, uh, intimately, uh, as the project progresses, uh, some of the lines I think are a little heavy, some of the lines are conservative. Um, the problem that I'm finding is that there are more conservative lines than heavy lines. So I'm a little concerned about the overall project budget. So I think we really, that you know, we all know that this project is going to be managed, but it needs to be actively managed to make sure we stay on par. So I want you all to know that I'm doing the very best. I will lean on all of you as needed for assistance. 
Um, but uh, we're really going to have to watch ourselves on this. Hence the reason we uh, we went with a different decking material and things of that nature. I did talk to Tom Ferry. Tom said his resources are limited. However, I told him under the circumstances, if we need to try to do some more work in house, um, that he would strongly consider it. And as Tom usually does, he'll do what he can to help out. Uh, that said, he, he went over there and did some demo work around the property to get rid of some asphalt for the new ramps, the new ramp and the relocation of the existing ramp. Um, the front sidewalk was not compliant because uh, it, it, was, it was not level. So that was all taken out. So, so Tom really, really stepped up to help out. The um, costs as MMT submitted for the new ramp and the repair of the existing ramp all in was $90,000. Right now, uh, we are under contract with Plan B for a time of materials. So Plan B is not able to give me an actual bid because that would be outside of his current contract. So what I asked him to do is try to give me an estimate as to what it would cost with his current contract, time of materials. And his response to me was um, $45,000. Now, that does not include the handrails. So when you factor in the handrails done in-house by the highway department, we're about a 30% savings over the uh, 90,000. So that's a fairly significant savings. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we're putting anything, we're not settling for any less than what we would have gotten. In fact, I think the end product, because of the fact that the contractors can can do what they did to the front entrances with the ramps, I think we'll actually end up with a better product than a concrete uh, ramp. So, I, I, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm excited. Uh, I, I've worked with uh, Brian Patch long enough to, if he tells me something, that's what he'll do. So I'm not concerned that we'll run over, um, but, it, but it is a way that we can start to chip away at some of those conservative lines for MMT by, by saving money in, these, in, you know, in this way. So. So with that said, Plan B is waiting for um, action of this committee to move from the existing ramp. I already gave him to go ahead to build the existing ramp, but he has not um, uh, pulled the trigger on the new ramp until, until this committee weighs in. Anybody have any questions? I have a question, but 90,000 was what it was gonna be if we went down to start a different group? Yes, okay. the, the design that the architect supply us mm -hmm. was for a concrete ramp oh. and the concrete ramp with the rails and the rebuilding of the old ramp which was one of the lines that we was conservative um, in total was 90,000. Oh. In one of our previous meetings that you may not have uh, been to we discussed the option of not doing the concrete ramp for a few reasons. One is the cost, sa cost savings. Mm -hmm. And the other was that it really didn't match the building. Um, at first, I was a proponent. However, after further thought, especially after seeing what they were able to, to do with the front entrances, I think wood is definitely the way to go. Now, when you talk about the railings, they're going to be the um, broad eye, yes. uh, like we have yes. here. Yes. So, does that 45 include the price for that? No. So, um, the total was 90000 Yeah. Plan B is part of its 45, and the railings will be another twenty two to 23000 So, that's where you get the 30% savings. And that would be the railings for both ramps. Correct. Okay. So, um, as one who, who fell down, slipped down the stairs in the old building, because it was icy, the other planes, are you including aluminum stair treads as part of that plan? I know they're not expensive, but I'm just want to make sure that those are there, maybe on the ramps as well. We were safety. not. We actually were going to consider uh, using aggregate embedded in the PT, which would be in the stain of the paint that we, however, we finished them off. So that okay. was that was where we were going to go with it. Aluminum actually can become more slippery mm -hmm. than, than the aggregate that I'm referring to. Um, okay. we, we, we did a um, aggregate stick on on this way up here. Mm -hmm. it, it's a fact that it works, but I, I'm not sure if that's what we want to do. So the, you can actually um, stain or paint, because uh, we haven't discussed how we're going to finish these yet. And then you can actually uh, 
put an aggregate, an epoxy aggregate on top of that, it becomes puddle of water. And does that need to be reapplied in the future? Or? It can wear it off, yes. Okay. All right. That would, that would be my concern. You mean those, um, you know, potentially if somebody's using a chair or a walker, especially for being able to grip surface in the winter or in the rain. So I think if there's some kind of a surface, aggregate surface, or as you said, even strip, sure. that is a, is a little bit heavier, it might be worth looking at putting down. It's okay. You can explore that. And then as long as it's inspected periodically, you know, the, the manufacturer must have a time. Everyone, so that's fine. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I don't prefer it either way. It's just yeah. those are our options. So. Okay, it was just Jocelyn had those put on because down all five stairs. Just I mean, boots on, held the rail line, and it just like mm -hmm. came up from under me because it was enough ice on there. Of course, clearing the stairs and the ramps is important. Right. Well, one of the reasons the ramp was relocated, the, the primary ramp was located to that side was because of the mm -hmm. sun exposure. It actually is going to see more sun. So in the other side, which I was concerned with the shading on the west side of the building, sure. we would never see it. It would always be slippery. Even in just a rainy day, it would be slippery. So uh -huh. that's one of the reasons it was relocated. Okay. Good. And this would be put on in the spring or summer. We wouldn't do that now. We would want the, the pressure treated woods to adjust to the, the weather and everything else, have a good winter. Correct. And then put it on correct. before we open up the crack. That is correct. So we have time to discuss what yes. we want to do. Okay. But there wasn't options for you. Right. Any other questions about this? Jonathan, I, as you know, went to the building today. Jonathan, I think, was there last week also. Uh, it's come along great. I didn't know the stairs. I wasn't sure if that was planned or not. I said, what were they shot enough? I think no, that was planned. That was planned. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you would think it was a mistake. Yes, it was well, it was <laughs> Yeah, I, it has nice detail to it. Yeah. And, you know, we can discuss maybe putting a different color on that strip or something. Just to, you know, but it really looks nice. It might be good for safety too, also. It is. It's yeah, a it color. Right. This is fluorescent orange. <laughs> what was that? Fluorescent orange? Yeah, I it's fluorescent orange. Yeah, it's fluorescent orange. <laughs> <laughs> you should just use the right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so can, you, can I go to the interior? Question or sure. So well, upstairs, that's okay. So upstairs in the interior, where those two stairs are that go out towards that exit on the door. Yes. Is that floor going to move forward, or are they going to stay there? Because I understood. I thought last week, um, Mark said something about the floor was going to move forward for Yeah. The, the location of those stairs is not where the design uh, has them, but that was the location they were put because the kids didn't know where, where this was gonna land. We hadn't had plans yet. Yeah. So, so if that door stays the way it is, those stairs will be relocated, yes. And then we'll probably be short, short. Yes. Similar to what we did with the wall. Where that was yeah, exactly, exactly. Do you know potentially how much more square footage that would give that room or? I mean, I can look at the plans, certainly. Um, is it gonna add, uh, it's probably gonna add 20 or 30 square feet. Oh, that's a lot. Just yeah, it's, it's quite a thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's really yeah. open up that room. Because right now it kind of bisects it, but yeah, right. it, it, it'll open up a lot more. Yeah. Right. Um, so, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, do we need to take a vote to have Plan B construct that second of the, the primary ramp, or um, how, how are we going to handle that? So let me, let me just. I think Jonathan has a question. I have a question, and I'll be, I'm it's going to sound like I'm going backwards, yeah. but I'm just going to ask it in general terms um, for now. I was, I know I was on the agenda was for me to have information about that back area today. Okay. The door. And unfortunately, I did not get my part done because I had to be out of town for a medical thing and then a funeral. Okay. So I apologize to everybody for that. And I guess we're going to sort of table that. But my question then would be, for that, what's the difference? And uh, we can argue, I suppose, that in the, in the upstairs where I was just asking about the stairs, there's, there are still going to be two stairs no matter what it sounds like going down to that door, if that door remains. And what's the difference with having the ramp that set that old ramp, the existing ramp, where it's going to be in the front area, you know, the employee area, 
versus putting it out back, moving it around to the back area. Well, I already have people building it, Jonathan. I know. Right? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to do something with an edge on it. With due respect, Jonathan, that should have been a discussion we had three weeks ago, four weeks ago, when we were talking about this. Because we clearly had the discussion about leaving the two ramps. So at that point, <clears throat> we could have easily moved it at that point. However, I think one of the reasons we all agreed it should stay there is that we had said, what if we hire someone who has physical right. limitations? That's the employee entrance. So therefore, we wouldn't want to be discriminatory against uh, an employee either. So I think the locations of the ramps are appropriate. I understand your, your concern about having an additional ramp, but um, I think the locations of the ramps are, are where they need I to get, I'm just, I guess I'm asking it because this was the question, question of one of the things I've been asking for months was what about relocating it to that back area rather than knowing that it was already going to be potentially started. That's all. I'm not sure. Well, John, Jonathan missed the meeting where I had proposed that one of you repair the rent that we have there now as a second request. Jonathan wasn't present. I'm not sure. John, I actually think he did look at the minutes for that time. Yes. I mean, we have never actually taken a vote on that. But as the co chair, I felt the consensus was that we. Our second request would be that the ramp, repair that ramp, do whatever we could for the existing ramp. So, well, we never took a vote on it. I'm, I'm content with where the ramp is now. I'm not going to ever advocate now that we move that ramp that I saw maybe three quarters built today. So, it would be an expense for us to, uh, to move that ramp. Uh, but I think, because we had a conversation prior, Jonathan, I think we are suggesting is that we don't raise the door, that we keep those two stairs there and then put the ramp. Which I think the fact that there's stairs there or at the least point of having a ramp there. It does. Uh, and I believe you're going to, you, you plan on submitting a, a letter. Yeah, I still want to clarify just a little bit. That's fine. And that's the part that I didn't get to. And I'm not necessarily opposed to it. Uh, I just didn't know that we were going to actually go forward with it yet until we had a clarification <laughs> as to whether it could be there or needed to be out back. That's all. Well, I, I'm a little confused because at the last meeting, we, we had a very heated discussion about the fact that you wanted a third ramp. So everyone at this table, unless I'm wrong, was under the presumption that we would have two ramps on that building. So the new one that's proposed in the plans and the one that's existing that needed work. No, and then the third one would come only if, you know, you submitted something and then down the road, it, it actually happens. Actually, what I wanted was the second ramp, not a third ramp, but I would want I wanted the second ramp actually to be out back. Well, that's that area. I mean, but I wonder, that was my impression that he wanted the second ramp, not a, not a third ramp. Okay. So the, the, instead of fixing the ramp that we have there now, which I think I can take a vote. Yeah. But I think the census was that that's what we wanted to do, the committee wanted to do. Uh, but I don't believe we were talking about a third ramp. No, absolutely not. But the fact that we <laughs> We're definitely going to have the ramp, which has to start the ramp in the front of the building, the new ramp. And we had a conversation about replacing the, the old ramp. And it's, so and I, three quarters done. I have to, I have to really, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be collected here, but the building only requires one ramp to be code compliant. So we're already exceeding the code requirements. What I'm hearing now is we want to take a ramp that potentially could be used by an employee in the future and move it to another location to satisfy what you're after. To me, that's a discriminatory action. So well, I don't the, understand. The employee could use the main door as their as their point. And every other colleague that they work with uses a different So door. the different the difference there is really for the purposes of evacuation because that's going to be an exit door only in the rear. That's my understanding. So that's the purpose of the of the question mark because CMR does say if you have two forms of egress, you have to have a second one that's also accessible. So if we're meeting 521 CMR to do that, then I'm fine with it. My only concern, and that's why I kept raising it, was what about that back area for egress purposes? That's all. I didn't realize between two weeks ago and now, and I don't know if anybody else did, that we would actually be starting that second ramp yet. I thought we were holding off on that even including understanding what material we're using and the cost factor, which I think is great by the way. The cost well, factor. you want to get this thing open August of next year. We need something. No, I, I know, but I mean, you know, I we're, we're, we're waiting about. to get the information first. So, so I, you know, I'll, I'll do whatever the committee wants me to do, quite frankly. Um, 
but putting a ramp on a door that is not accessible is just that that just doesn't make sense. So if you're gonna if you're gonna propose to move a ramp to the back door, um, then that door has to be accessible. So that means raising the floor, raising the door, and completely reconfiguring that room. Which I think at this point I wouldn't disagree with you is probably not something we can do. I mean, I'm not an architect, I'm not a builder, I'm not a building inspector, either a commissioner or anything. I don't know another way around it at this point. Um, but it was a concern I was raising. I'm not, again, I'm not opposed to having a second ramp there, Jim. I think it's a. So you know, it roughly costs us. Um, $2,000 a day, $2,500 a day. So please tell me what you want me to do because I have people working there right now fixing that existing way up. I, I, I recall that we, as Ken said, the consensus all needed to vote because it made, it made sense given that that parking area on that west side would be for employees and that would be an employee emergency egress and also um, emergency egress for for people who need an accessible means of egress. And that was the rationale we had. We, we, given that we're only required to have one, we agreed that two made more sense. If we could do it easily and that there was a ramp there already and it just needed to be repaired or, or whatever. But that, I, that, that was my understanding of the conversation was, yeah, it makes sense because that's where employee parking is going to be. So um, yeah, that's... I'm inclined to kind of leave it as as is and to to move the so I, I understand now what you're saying, Jonathan, which is to move the the ramp to the other side. So anybody else have a comments they want to make about this? The I, I do uh, I forget who said it might be discriminatory. Actually it's you that said it might be discriminatory because then the employee who has to use the ramp and not have to park in the other mm -hmm. public area. And all the other employees. Yeah, I, I think that's that's worse than, than there is the, look, uh, that. the nature of the building, and I, I don't disagree with any of this. The nature of the building is such that there is no perfect solution. And that's the reason why I wanted us to get an, an, a variance potentially <laughs> so that we protect ourselves. I want to make sure, as Jim does, the way we do things, that at least we're protected if anything did ever happen. Well, I, I'm, I'm not certain we're in violation of anything. Our code compliance check from a, a third party hired architect said we're in compliance. The third party architect, when we asked them about CMR, said they wanted to clear it. Well, I don't want to go back down this road. So, so just tell me what you want for the bill, and I'll build it. I'm not going to say stop that. That's what the consensus is that everybody wants to do. I'm just going to. Yeah, I mean, you we know. have to watch the budget. Yeah. I wouldn't advocate at all. I will still so finish what I'm doing. So, I'm uh, sorry. Yeah, to, to move the ramp. And in the ideal world, which we're not living in, uh, we would have that egress that you're talking about, Jonathan. Would be, but we don't have the budget for it. You know, if you build a new library, you're going to make a level with the ground. So you have that, you know, that's a whole different bunch of ramps. Okay. But I wonder how many old libraries actually have two egress systems or two ramps like we have. I bet you they're very few and far between. That is true. But and never mind, it's going through the expensive curtain that, which would now be a third ramp. Raising the door, <laughs> you can't have stairs and have it going to a ramp because that defeats the whole purpose of the, of the ramp. I haven't visited every library in the Commonwealth, but I can tell you every existing library that's been renovated has one accessible ramp. They don't have more. more, more. So, so I think we're exceeding, we're exceeding, which I think we ought to be proud of, mm -hmm. quite frank. And I uh, thank Jonathan for, for suggesting the second ramp. I know it's not where you want it to be, Jonathan. This second ramp, we would not have had that second ramp if you had it brought to our attention mm -hmm. ever since. Right. So uh, the ramp looks very good. It's not Home Depot. Mm -hmm. it, it looks it's very, <laughs> it very good. Looks very good. I look forward to it being stained and when I was going to look, you, you got to wait almost even like a year, but uh, that time. So I think it looks good. I like the, the configuration of it. I have, we have Jonathan and I have a guy where we have to make sure the levels will do that at some point. It looks good to me. I'm by sight. It's by slightly it. shallow than code requirements. So. Which is yeah, a possibility. Mm -hmm. Which, but I don't think it's. What does that mean? It means it's less steep than the Less than the grade required, yeah. a little bit lower, which is better. Mm -hmm. What is it, one inch better before? Is that? Yes. yes. Okay, so yeah. 
It looked it looked good. I, I can't imagine messing that up, but Jonathan's Jonathan, Jonathan, check it out and we'll, we'll do that at some point. All right, Jonathan? Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, I'm sure. I, I don't anticipate a problem. It looks good. Just stand it. Jonathan will check it out and sure. we'll we'll get back to the committee. I do can I just say one quick thing? Yeah, yeah so I, being part of the conversations, I interpreted all these conversations um, to be that we would move, you know, to be in favor of the second round. So much so that when I made my presentation, you know, to the friends and selectmen, I actually noted that there would be two ramps, the new one to be built and the existing one to be redone. So that, that was always that was my I mean that, that was my interpretation based on the conversation that came out of the committee. I and mean, if there was some misinterpretation, I feel like to speak for myself that I may not be alone in that <coughs> misinterpretation. But that's that was sort of that was what I took from the conversations. And I, I was comfortable that you know to have yeah, I'm not yeah. comfortable with you saying that just that we had a conversation about it. I got mm -hmm. a sense nobody was objecting to it. Yeah. Yeah. Jonathan expresses concerns. Yeah, but I didn't take a vote. Well, I'm not, I'm not objecting to that. I'm just, I'm just, well, I'm not objecting to that at all. I'm more clear. I actually didn't think that the ramp is going to stop now, but I'm not opposed to it or anything because yeah. we had the conversation. Yeah. And it's quite frankly, it looks good. Yeah. I'm not objecting to that at all. I'm just, you know, I just said that it was my interpretation that we, we were just going to move forward with right. those two ramps. I mean, I, I think Jonathan still wants to make his life. I understand. Yeah. 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 The committee, from what I understand, is not going to change the position. Yes. We're not going to move the, uh, uh, the ramp. I think you can continue going forward with uh, having the ramp uh, complete. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, obviously, when, when you engage a contractor like Plan B, um, you try not to let him leave the site until you're done with him. Because if he does, you can't get him back. Mm -hmm. So, and we so, do have a timeline. We do. We have a budget line, too. So, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, he, he wanted to stop the other ramp. Today and I told him no. I after three o'clock today I will call you, but you cannot stop that ramp today. So, so you need that back to your question. I, I need that. You need a vote. I, if from you're us so inclined, uh, yeah, I need that. I mean, the building committee was just going to be the library trustees. I'm sure who or both. Both. I mean, you did best. Let's say so. Yeah. So I'll entertain a motion to uh, have the the new ramp. I was going to say the second ramp, but the new ramp. To be completed by using the materials that uh, the building commission has uh, suggested. I make that motion. Second. Put the, I put it by trying to in the course that you had expressed. Yeah. You made a, uh, the call made a motion. Yes. Second. Any uh, further discussion on this? If not, I'll call for a vote starting with a uh, roll call vote starting with mine. Ron O'Connor, aye. Jonathan Gale, aye. <laughs> yeah, but no, I get like it. It's more to us, Pat, because Pat jumped in. Pat's cut Pat Dale's eye. Mark Brock, the guy. Yeah, I. The passes. Okay. I'll just hand a motion of the same from the trustees. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, 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 Mark. I, I apologize, Mark. All right. I agree with it. Yeah, now it's unanimous. Sorry about that. Okay. I move the same. Second. Any discussion? We'll vote Ron O'Connor. I and my son, Peter Rouge, and I. That passes also. So, so Pat, would it work better if you change seats with Pat? So <laughs> 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 Ken. I think it's always my turn. <laughs> 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 Anything else on the building? Uh, I, I think I'm going well out of order. I actually asked for everything on the agenda now, so I'm sorry, but that's uh, this one. Yeah, no, unless you have any questions on me. I don't. Anybody else have any questions? <laughs> now we go to the budget. Do you have to make a phone call? Uh, <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Budget. Yes, yeah, so the only change in the budget from the last time is that we spent down an invoice from Plan B for the first two weeks of work. Um, we're going to be touching base with Town of County to get what has Ron requested monthly updates on everything. I don't have it for this meeting, but it, it will be coming. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's basically that is that is the extent budget. I do want to point out though, um, in the, the um, accessibility grant uh, that were funds set aside for, uh, I believe, for the um, 
wheelchair ramp construction. So that will, that will help offset the costs um, as well. We would plan to fund towards that. Is that your understanding, John? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. So is that the primary grant? Uh, the ones to be, I believe that the grant says one to be built. Yeah, it, did, it, did, it okay. did not define which, what rent it just said for the for one. Yeah, for one. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so essentially, the thirty percent savings is actually more than that. It's going to take into account the funds, the uh, rent funds going into that. Right. And yeah. We have an adult for any ramp work yet, so right. 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 We can decide that when we get the rent. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Grants and fundraising. I want to say I'm almost done with my state, my yearly state aid application. Um, and so that I'll probably get the notice of how much I get in November, December. Um, what's great about the state aid is it's completely unrestricted. I can save it for years if I want to. I can use whatever I want. My primary goal right now is to use it for this project um, as a contingency or drop set, thing, whatever. And then when the project's over, then I'm going to tip into it um, for library material. So that's basically the primary function of my, any state aid I get. I have state aid sitting in the pot right now all the back for the past two fiscal years. I'm accumulating it, I'm using it for this project. Um, and then when the project's done, then I'll focus on, on for other library operation costs, like I normally would. Do you know how much we have sitting in the pot right now? I do, but I didn't bring that with me. I, 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 I can have like two years. Yeah. Two years, so call them 20, 15, 20,000 each year, so no, maybe 40. So, so, if, if, most. so if the right. if we read if we were over budget on the project, mm -hmm. am I hearing you say that if we needed to we could pull from some of this? Yes, I have as specifically for yes. And yeah. actually a few months, a few weeks back, the time yeah. accountant asked me what my plan was um, for all the state that hasn't been touched. And I specifically said this is for contingency for this 207 project. So she hasn't opened her file for that. That's what I'm using it for. That's money to be used for that. We're going to get a, some more added to that pot, hopefully in the summer. Don't know how much, but that's why I filled the application. Yeah, I, I think there was a small increase in, in the Austin mm -hmm. libraries in the uh, FY25 budget. So, yep. Um, not be huge, but, mm -hmm. yep. um, but there'll, there'll be that influx coming in. So we also have a gift account. That's correct. Yes. We haven't touched. With correct. Price. Forty-nine thousand, and the golf tournament on Sunday. Well, I don't want to pre presuppose that the uh, <laughs> will be so generous this year. So, but uh, that would be nice. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> or, or is that their stated purpose? That, that this is to raise funds for the library project. I forget. But anyway, we can move on. Yes, sir. Well, I, I, I think for the, the library, for the library, yes. and I think um, the discussion. You know how we. Talked to, we did the smart board before, mm -hmm. but we haven't had that discussion yet. So, oh, that's right. uh, but that will be coming. Yeah, but another 20,000 would be good. <laughs> I still <don't laughs> register a couple of times. Well, <laughs> Mark's <laughs> claiming we may have to give back money. We, we might, we might. <laughs> my team thinks that we have a shot at winning. They are going to find out really early. Maybe. <laughs> right. You're going to have to But don't tell me. Oh, okay. that's what we did. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Okay. They, might, they might actually be better. Yeah. That's a good matter of I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know, there's no the, the window. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a miniature dog. No. I'm funny. <laughs> there is a funny contest. Funny and I will be the judges. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. I think we should be happy. I'm proud of that. Back to you. You're doing it. I have no experience in your well, well, I, I haven't gone in 20 years. Oh, but that's, that, okay. that's 20 years. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should follow up with a video. No. <laughs> <laughs> when you haven't gone in a long time, just relax. Just, 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 and do, it. You just do it. Just do it. Yep. You can do it. Yep. <laughs> it was a you don't know what I heard it was a choice between playing golf and Dr. Librarian. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know what you said. I said, so I heard it was a choice between. Either playing on a team or doing the dunk the library director. Yeah, yeah, we decided to go with golf on the team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, the guy in fundraising, uh, last meeting, uh, we formed a subcommittee uh, to discuss the uh, fundraising options. And did I see something from you that uh, you think it needs to go back to the, uh, the select one of a committee, a subcommittee? 
we, we had we had a decision from town council many years ago saying any time subcommittee is formed, it should be brought to the attention, if not for vote, at least as a courtesy to the board of selectmen. So I would just recommend that we send a memo to the selectmen. Well, Nikki, if you have any inside on that, I can't find that letter, but it was a big deal. No, I, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, um, it was a big deal at the time. When the, we had a building committee and we had subcommittees. And so, you know, then I just want to do with people getting together in the union and having some kind of a quorum <clears throat> or something like that. I think this may have even, that. This may have even predated the um, open meeting law, but um, yeah. So, I think, I, I think, sure. I don't know if you need to vote, but I, you know, we could just drag Ken, you and I to send a a memo to the so I can just let them know that we have formed this committee yeah. and um they can decide whether or not they want to vote on it they want to vote on it or not. So it's, it's I think it's primarily an FYI. They may not yeah. be aware of this history and that one is lost to me. So so the fundraising committee has not yet yet but again we haven't got the approval for the board so yes. sorry so we'll hold we'll, we'll up anything else in rents and fundraising if not, not from me. If not, then I uh, can use that some information. Well, I've been in contact with the young town's PR, town's PR firm, and we were supposed to have a press release to me by the end of the day today, which they still might, because days not done, um, based on all the work that's been done so far in 2024. And then from then, they're going to do, say, weekly or, you know, every two weeks updates with, you know, um, up to date photographs. So I think this press release that drops is going to be a pretty, pretty good one because it's going to cover basically all of 2024. Um, and I sent them a bunch of photographs too. So when I see the draft, you know, I'll look it over and then it'll drop at some point shortly thereafter. So, absolutely. I'm not sure. I know when we uh, hire this PR company, I think they were going to, they could do two things a month for the town and after that, it costs the town more money. So I'd be concerned about them well, posting pictures. They, they only so they came to me because they had um, emailed um, our interim TA and he sent them to me. So I had no issue communicating with them. I mean, it's, you know, so if that's a, I wasn't aware of that. It's possible, um, but they were they were directed towards me. So I just I just kind of ran with it. Yeah. There is a certain amount, I think. Yes. Okay. And there may be other devices yeah. want to use it. So that yeah, yeah, you know, I yes. Yeah, I would, I would say at least if we could do a month week, the progress that has. Things go slow a little bit and it goes speed up. So, yeah, the time that's, right. Right. You know, like, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. and but we haven't really done any sort of like, here it is. Well, I, I think it's been a while. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
think when you're dealing with the public, you want to have that wow effect. So yeah. when they read something, they're like, wow, that's really coming along. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. if, if you're giving them bits and pieces all the time, they'll say, okay, it's, it's moving, but lose that wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like right now, I'm like, wow, it's looking good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want to keep thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I was saying, but not what I'm saying, no one <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, uh, yeah. I guess the point of us. I get it. It's the difference between a yawn and a walk. <laughs> if I go back to the building about the, uh, the heating system, I guess, have we done anything with that yet? Do we have? We, we don't have an engineer on um, uh, retaining yet, no, but I have made some progress, okay. yes. So I would just want to weigh at it. Yes, you want to get that. The problem is that all of the vendors that I have, um, who I've worked with for 30 years, are going to bid on it. So I'm trying to find one who's disengaged yeah, from their engineer enough to so hire the engineer yeah. without interfering with a, with a bid problem yeah. or a bid protest. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's been a little bit difficult. You know? <laughs> no, no, it's important. I'm glad you said that. Again, item number four, review and discuss the act on plan B's payment request for free and full weeks of renovation. And so similar to the last meeting, um, Pam is, is submitting his uh, payrolls on a weekly basis. So I have week three and four. Uh, they're very consistent with last um, months, with the exception that the first week was a partial week. So the total for this invoice is $22,677.50. And that includes uh, the two weeks worth of labor, uh, with the labor rates pursuant to the long term contract and long form contract we have with them. And it includes materials, <clears throat> two invoices, which total in the amount of $2,761.36. And again, Plan B is allowed to, to increase or upsell that material by 35%. He's chosen 10%. So again, I think he's being fair. Yeah. And this insurance was expiring, so I have a new copy of the insurance. Anybody have any questions about that? So our total so far with them is roughly what almost fifty thousand. Um, no, less than that, 40, 45, 40, 46, 000. 000. Yeah. Not quite fifty thousand. Right. Right. Okay. Do we have any money for budget? Yes. We'll discuss the, the next item. Yeah, we'll yeah. We're well, we going to know before we leave today what we will probably spend with Plan B. So, there's no other questions about that. I'll entertain a motion to approve the invoice for Plan B. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? If not, I'll call for a vote. We'll call a vote. Starting with Ron. Ron Connor, hi. John from Yale, hi. Kenny Chief, hi. Mark Bell's aye. Mark Bell's aye. James Aguilar, aye. Mark Tavares, aye. The passes are made a Did you ask for aye? Okay. It's not a reasonable This is not a trust me, so it's not fun. It's keeping you on your toes. I don't think. Right, but I can't. It's still going to say that. Fun's under the authority of the building. Whatever works. It's okay. The plan B is max. We did vote on it. You did vote on it. We did vote on it. All right, I'll take a motion to approve uh, the uh, the invoice. I send it. Second. Any questions, comments? Vote Ron Connor. Aye. And Mike Center. Rainer Rouge. Aye. Passes. Plan B is maximum expenditure allowance for a town council request. So unfortunately, Plan B hasn't seen any money from the town of Dayton yet because the accountant wants a letter from us stating what the threshold will be for um, Plan B expenses or expenditures. So uh, based on the progress over weeks one through four, the estimated time of materials for the ramp, and any miscellaneous work that I think Plan B um, can do for us, I came up with a ceiling of $135,000. I put that in a letter form because the accountant wants it in letter form. I'll read it for the record. Uh, obviously, the subject is in the Indite Library, 27 Main Street. Town accountant, be advised that the capital expenditure amount noted below for the new Indite Library, public library, has been approved by the Library Building Committee 
said amount shall be expended from the available funds as determined by the library building committee. Uh, plan B construction is the contractor uh, who's been uh, noted. And I know that they're currently working under an existing law form contract based off the calculations taken from the MMT architectural cost estimation sheet attached herein, which I'm including. The total estimated work for plan B will be uh, will provide will not exceed $135,000. So on my letterhead, I have co-signatures on both chairs if the committee so chooses to. That, that includes labor and material? Correct. Now, there may be additional that come up later, but I think this gets us to where we need to be, where we get inside, we stop doing electrical, plumbing, um, HVAC, et cetera, et cetera. I don't want to really commit to any more plan B until we get all of that other infrastructure done, and then we can revisit it based on the budget. So it appears clear that she only needed the building committee's approval, not building committee and trustees. I'm, I'm asking for both. Oh, okay. I have you on here as a time sign, or I can. But did the letter mention the trustees or just the building committee? Oh, good point. Yeah, but he can sign it because he's the co-chair of the building. He's also, as obviously, the chairman. I would just add that. I would just put. Yeah, I can. I would just add the library. Obviously, you said that. If that's what you want, it's a quick keystroke. I can revise that. Jim, was the original contract? I think it was roughly one twenty-five, right? No, the original was. There were two contracts, and this is why I'm a little. I don't really understand why we need to do this. The original contract was for the siding. There was another contract that went along with that, which all bidders who bid on the side bid on an on-call service contract. Plan B was, was low bidder on both of those. So this contract is, is although it's part of the signing contract, it's in addition to any work that included the side. So uh, although I understand why we would want a threshold, um, I'm a little, I'm not really unsure. I'm not sure as why it's really needed because that's a time and materials contract. So time and materials is time and materials, whatever job we give that contract and we owe them for. So, but I think this is a safe guesstimate. This will, this will handcuff us. I think it will get us to a point where we will move on to other building infrastructural improvements, which are not gonna be done by plan B. And then um, plan B can revisit the project later on after we have, uh, you know, we're down the road a little more if, if we need a service. So, so does the with the 135, assuming that we agree with that 135 as the maximum figure at this point, where does that put us in terms of our overall budget? What does that mean for the balance of the budget? Okay, just, just over 25 percent of the original one. Right? Yeah, so there were 323,000 funds left that left as of today in that article. So minus. 135,000, so 323 minus 125. Oh, 135, sorry. So one. Just yeah, 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 192, yeah. right? Something like that. Yeah. And do we anticipate that that 192 would be covered by, I guess I'm just trying to wrap my head around what that 92, 192 roughly would include that could potentially down the road result in us not having enough dollars. I just want to, I'm trying to think proactively of what still would have to be done. Obviously, there's a lot of interior work to be done. Well, I know the H that, that would not apply to the H that, right? Because that would come from the actual right. double grant. So yes. I know H that, as far as that goes up, is, that's, that, that's my question. Yeah. Right. So the remaining uh, just under $200,000, not including all of the other small funding sources that right. we have. Right. Um, would have to pay for um, the remaining electrical, the uh, plumbing, and um, um, fixtures. So lighting fixtures, things of that nature, plumbing fixtures. And then the painting, ceiling, flooring, we've done everything. We're all through that too. I may have planned to do some of that as part of this 135. I just, I just, I, I haven't been able to manage that. Yeah, I was going to ask you that question. Yeah, this 135 yeah, yeah I. I think I'm gonna be able to get at least one or two rooms painted with that 135. So it will include all of the carpentry work, both ramps, the front uh, entrances, 
the columns minus the sand blasting, which we'll get to in the next um, uh, item. Um, all of the interior petitions, all of the sheetrock, and hopefully uh, a couple of uh, rooms painted. My, my only question with the letter, um, thank you for reading it out loud, by the way, mm -hmm. was I don't want the town accountant and, you know, that it's a public document to somehow misconstrue that $135,000 as the end all to be all for plan B. And that there's no more contract potential, future potential well, sorry, contract obligated. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, because it sounds to me the way it's, again, you wrote it pretty much the way I would almost write it, but at the same time, um, Somebody could argue, well, you said it's 135,000, and now we'll find it out later we need another 67,000. Right. So uh, I'm wondering if we need some clarification in the letter first to, to be clear. Okay. And does anybody else? No one thought. I don't want, I don't, I just, I, I'm trying to avoid the. It's a valid. Well, that is a very good point. Yeah. 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 Okay. So do we want to rework the letter first, or do you want to? We don't, or just put something back in that we can, because they need to get paid. Yeah. Well, obviously, no, they need I, to get paid. I, I, I know I, that's your first contract. contract was still good yeah. at the end of this project. Yeah. I mean, our anticipated open mm -hmm. day. So I wouldn't want to not. That was one of the concerns I had with this letter to begin with. I don't even understand why mm -hmm. I need to do this. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have funding sources. We have a library building committee managing the, pro the project. We have a contract that's in effect, a long form contract. That's in effect. Why do we need a seal? Why do we need an amount? Did we ask why? I didn't. I can't get a straight answer. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I asked why. Point. Point. The, first, the first thing I asked is, I don't understand why you need that. Well, you got 400 or 500 grand available. Is Plan B getting it all? No, of course he's not getting it all. There are other contractors that we need to get this project done. Yeah. So I was a little offended that you would actually think that I would mismanage it to the point where I need you need to tell me this is how much you can spend with plan to be. I actually, I wasn't very happy about it. Well, know? does it make sense for you? Obviously, I think, I'm, I'm thinking already this letter needs to be reworked to indicate that this is not potentially the end of the contract or it could be a supplemental contract or an extension of the contract. That would be yeah. fun. But does it also make sense perhaps for you to have more of a conversation with plan B and talk about if there's an extension of contract, the types of things that would have to be done so that we can put a cap on the whole contract. Well, uh, you know, but I also know you, you want them to get a check, and if they need to get a check, they can. Yeah, I'm right? upset that the guy has to have the money. Yeah, I mean, that is he's doing no one's work. Yeah, yeah. You know? and so that's got to come. That would be really upset, frankly. Um, the payment was submitted. Isn't it? I know the payment was yeah. submitted, and okay. I, I asked for the check to be held so he could pick it up, and this is the response that I, I received. So, Tom Cummins probably just trying to be careful. Yes. Yeah. We'll do a change of compliance because we want them to get paid. I agree with Jonathan. We have to change the language a little bit to indicate that this is not the final right. cost for the new plan B. Right. So, uh, so it, except it, it feels like micromanaging here. It does. And, completely. You know, I, I think, you know, we're, we're requesting, you know, a, a budget and account, you know, an accounting so that the subcommittee can, the committee, I'm sorry, can, can look at that and the trustees can look at that on a regular basis so that we're collectively, and that, right. that's no offense to you and Mark, because no. I know you two are on top of it, but it would just be good for the record to say, we looked at a budget report each month, right. and we see the, how, how funds are, and where we have questions like, oh, where are we spending $200,000 for plan B? What's going on? You know, that, but that won't happen if we're, you're doing that anyway, so I don't, I don't get the reason. I think, from, I think that, you know, look, the, the thing that we're all really conscious of is if, we have any cost overruns, which we still can't say isn't going to happen, how the community is going to react. Because, you know, it's always we're going to hold the line, we're going to hold the line. Even if we have these other funds that, you know, might be available so that we can publicly say, let's be honest, we're doing the right thing. We've got other funds available we can pull from. You know, if there's a small overrun a little bit here and there, you know, Mark has the state funds, we have some other things, we can utilize that without having to go to the public. And I think that's great, but I also think if the public wants and they have the right to demand an accounting of what everything is, in the end, 
I would rather be able to say to the public, yeah, we went over by $23,000, but we had other state funds that were set aside that we were able to pull for this. So even though the contract says it's going to be a total of $193,000 for plan B, for example, as opposed to 135 for now, you know, we were able to manage that in budget because we knew what we had. So, and I think that's probably the way she's looking at it, I would bet. Because she has, she's the one that has to have the books open for the public to see, the board of selectmen. And, so and the original contract should have been honest. Uh, or, or, uh, we should, the Titans should have gotten the contract with Plan B the way they did. Because that yeah. contract is open-ended. There's no dollar amount. It's a time of materials contract. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I agree with you. Whatever yeah. we do. Yeah. So, I agree. You know, I, I agree with Ron. It's not just like for managing me. It's like managing this entire bar. Yeah. Because we're responsible for making sure this project stays on course. Yeah, I, I understand what she's trying to do. I, however, could we, is there a way that we can write this that says, you know, subject to revision by the building committee so that it's like, this is our number now and that we're, you know, it's, 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 it's a moving target. And I, I don't know how we, we could put language in there that might cover that. I guess when we could treat it, maybe not necessarily like a technical work order, but treat it in a way like a work it's okay, this is, we're acquiring work from plan to do yada yada yada. We expect to be blank. If more work is acquired, we'll take out another work. We don't have like to call it work order, but something like that. Is that can you exactly, Jim? Could you can you with this letter? Can you close it in effect by saying this is what was covered. This is what will be covered. However, there will be there may be the need for supplemental contract in the future for continuing interior work. So just specify what's being covered here. And I think that would cover her, what she needs. But she's holding payment in the absence of this? Yeah, yeah. Well, and she's, we're required to pay within 30 days, right? Right. So we could stop and just get paid. Because we, and I know 30 days isn't, isn't quick enough and, and fair enough, but um, oh, maybe, she, maybe we need to invite her to the yeah, future, future, say future that. reference. Yeah. We have a 10 year relationship with this contract that has done eight projects yeah. for us. The last thing yeah. I want to do is take yeah. that. On this project, right? Of all projects, yeah. this one, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. so, the, yeah, in the interest of them getting paid sooner than later, what, when, what's 30 days? 30 um, days from when? From when oh, last week, when last week, yeah. All right, well, then, then we need to know yeah. what, 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 what exactly we do. It's just too long. Um, we approved this, but I think, she needs, I think we need to invite her to. Because this can happen with other accounts, and it's just and there's other significant expenses. I think I agree. It would be great to hear yeah. what the rationale is and why she wants right. it. And, and that's a great point, Ron. Uh, because I plan on using in-house plumbing and electrical work to fill the gaps on stuff the schools can't do. So is this going to be the same problem there? Because we have contracts with these tradesmen already. So yeah, it, I just see this just money in the water, so people don't get paid, and then and then people don't want to work for night. Correct. Yes. So will, will this letter, if you feel it will satisfy her needs for now, and then we can, we can always amend it, come up with something different after we make it. This, this gets some faith. And, and How about if we put a date? We know the way he's gonna be finished with this work. Mm -hmm. How about if we just add a word like, do you advise that the current capital expenditures as noted below will carry the project through an exit date? Does that make sense? There's no occupancy mm -hmm. up to that thing. Yeah. Yeah, right? okay. That makes sense to me. If they need to do additional work, we, we so, have that. So we know that this yeah. committee has approved this amount of money through that day. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I think just to bring it through a day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So and, can I just show you the one who thinks that will be? Sure. And then yeah. insert it and then distribute it to you two? Yes. Okay. 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 That's fair. I think it's two weeks ago. That was the last time we met. Yeah, that's right. It was two weeks ago. So, I mean, it wasn't last week, it was two weeks ago. So, I mean, yeah. And if you think about it, if it's, if it's somewhat consistent, yeah. obviously there's, a, there's the cost of materials, there's things like that too, different things. But if it's somewhat consistent, knowing roughly every two weeks, you know, $23,000 on the average. No, yes, yeah, and, and that's just because we have a crew of a certain yeah. size and we're buying a certain amount of materials. And the yeah. materials are all similar, so the, yeah. the bills will be fairly yeah. consistent. Yes. So that we, I guess what I'm saying is it's roughly about another, you know, what, two, four, six, eight weeks of work. Right. I just can't speak for No, no, no. I know. Uh, he doesn't have yeah. to come here every day, so yeah. I just want to check with him first. Yeah. Uh, to make sure we have a date yeah. that's actually tangible. 
I think as long as you do that, and it just indicates that the contracts will, may, will be submitted for continuing capital expenditure. Okay. Put that in there so that it's really clear. Okay. You want us to take a vote on that? You, I, it, I need you to sign this on. Yeah, you need to sign it. Okay. Sign it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Concrete and conventional exterior will uh, rotate away of course we've already discussed that in that yes. in sample last time just to make the columns and fireplace you have an estimate I do yeah I don't have a written estimate um, because I didn't know where the committee would want to go I did call uh, four sandblasting contractors one actually came out to look at it um, the columns and all of the caps would be $4,500 and even the five minutes at the same time, because it will all be done on the same day, will be an additional thirty nine hundred dollars, so it'll be eighty four hundred dollars. I understand the comments, but I'm a little concerned about the the fireplace. Uh -huh. How bad is living with black fireplace? All right, that's one answer that I'm going to want to. It was just kind of how long ago. I believe I was told by Pastor Maria she painted it when they took occupancy, so 10 it's years ago. Like it's yeah. white with the black. <laughs> That's a lot of money. You could paint a different color for a different color. <laughs> I've had same with last week done when I say last retired. Um, so I know what things cost. That's about right. It, is there so that, that sandblasting is merely removing the paint? Yes. Or so if there's a repair to the brick surface that's needed and to the that won't be included. That won't be included. So it's, this, it's this, this, this might uncover some. It's possible, it's, it's, it's in pretty good shape, but it's, but it's possible, yes. I guess that's one of the things where, did you do it later? No, I can't pay until the same last thing that's done. I, yeah, no, but we could go in like after and say, um, and do the project rather than during the project. Can you see how last later is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah. yeah, but then you have the buildings already. So now I have to post this like a game. Are we going to say it once? Well, I'm just trying to think. Not when everyone's there. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 and now we're going to go away until he's there. I understand yeah. that. I'm saying it, it does create a fair amount of dust. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, yeah. it's much better to be done in a building that's on the construction than a building that's right. on the right. construction. So, not only that's going to be cheaper while they're there. That's what we're going to say. That's what right. you said. You said it's the same day. Yeah, and it's only that right. price is only for the same day. So, I'm concerned about the cost. So if we just take it off the budget and agree that it's something that could be done down the road if there's sufficient funds or if fundraising um, is available to do it, but we take it off of the money that's currently allocated. Could this be the first question? It could be, but I don't really see that. Okay. Okay. So I'm, 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 I guess I'm gonna ask this all of you because this won't apply to me, but. Uh, how big is this thing, this fireplace area? Enormous. And how visually, I mean, if it's really going to be visually that. It, it's it basically the centerpiece of the room. If it's going to take people's eyes to it. Yeah, it's in your face. Then we sort of, and I can't see the damn thing, so what am I saying? <laughs> but, <laughs> but I also know if it's going to really attract people's eyes to it. Yeah. I hate it to is. say it, I have to agree with Jim, it's got to be done. Yeah, I, I, I think it does. I, I, am, I understand and need to watch our dollars and I completely agree, but we're not, you know, in the 12th hour of scrambling to get the project done. We're still early on. I know we have a long way to go and every dollar is going to count, but I, I do think that, that that really is going to make that room. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so you know, we, have the, we have the library right. gift fund, which is allocated so, for that purpose. So, so I, I, I would say that since this is something that was not really accounted for in the initial budget planning for special yeah. article. This was this would be something I would use state aid for. Or the line say at, at, at the same time, keep in mind we right now, according to what, what Jim is telling us, we're ninety thousand dollars 
or the ramps less 23 or 4,000, right? Which in other ways brings us in, you know, there's parts of this project that are going to become under budget. So there is <coughs> some money to work with. We don't know how it's all going to shake out in the end, but the might also parts of the whole budget too. Yeah. Oh, no, I agree. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. If the ramp is already on the budget in a sense, yeah. we only talked about one ramp. Yeah. Of course, the budget sure. now we're doing two. So yeah. it is. I'm not going to support uh, Sam Blaster now. I, I'll entertain a motion. We want to uh, get a second in discussion. Uh, but I just, we're going to watch the dollars. And it's, it's early in the game that these things add up. I'm not so upset the way once I wouldn't be black myself, but. Well, can I, can they, like, is there any way they can do a rough glass so that it can be painted and everything will adhere to it? Is that possible? I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm not trying to leave I don't know. No, the, idea, the idea was to leave it natural. To get it back to it. Yeah. The, the, uh, I think the black areas were always painted. I don't think those were natural. Um, so you might find that those have to, those have to have after you know sandblasting, but the brick itself was never painted. Yeah. Do we need to vote on this today? Can it be deferred so that everybody can at least get over there? Do you want the sandblasting for the columns? The columns are going to take a lot of work, and I'd like to get those columns in before Plan B leaves. Yeah. So, uh, so can we the answer is no, it doesn't have to. It could be something Plan B comes back to do. When, when would they be? I mean, I guess what I'm saying is, do they need to do that in the next two weeks or three weeks? I need a time on all. No. So could we, again, I can't see it, but I'm just suggesting, could we vote at least to affirm the columns so that everybody can at least get over there and maybe get a visual? It'll be, it'll be a different price. It'll be a different price. Yeah. yeah. It's so, price. Yeah. So or, just because I've said I'm opposed, it doesn't mean it's not going to pass. Right. I know. So I'm just I think we, Yeah. I think we need to resolve that issue yeah. today. Right. Um, Mark, your concern that we have funds is the board. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 How much for the columns and how much for the? It was 45 for the columns and another 39 for the fireplace if they did it at the same time. So they did the columns they did the columns, separately. Separately. They did the columns alone. Or would it be 45 or could it be more? I believe that would be it, yes. Okay. Yeah. Because that was the first full record. They don't have any price. Right. Okay, well, if you did 45, then they have to come back. Okay. Yeah, might be. I need a second motion. I'm going to ask for a motion to um, approve the figures of $4,500 for the uh, comments. Wait, just a second. I, I just have a question. Um, I'm not the most aesthetic. I mean, aesthetics don't really. You know, what do people think about the aesthetics of it? Sandblast or not sandblast? I think it looks like hell right now. Okay. 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 I agree. Yeah. It looks so funny. Okay. 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 The painting is never going to look good. And we're trying to restore this gorgeous building back to, as much as we can, back to its original state. Whether or not Mark is into aesthetics. It makes I didn't sense. say I wasn't. I said my eye for, I meant to say my eye for aesthetics is not but, as good as other people. But, but when, if that's what I said, I, I, I just but spoke, when I'm sorry. see the fireplace, it's going on. It is going on. Yeah. I mean, if we had to choose between the fireplace and the doors, <laughs> we'd take the fireplace. I'll make a motion that we. Prove the same plastic of the college and the five pays for total eighty four hundred dollars. Is there a second? I'll second. Eighty four thousand. Eighty four hundred. Eighty four hundred. Yeah. Oh, eighty four hundred. Yeah. All right. That's a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> you feel better. If there's no further discussion, I'll call for a vote. Starting with Ron. Ron O'Connor, aye. Jonathan Gale, aye. Campuchino said no. Matt Beals, aye. Mark Buckley, aye. Kim Jagger, aye. No, I. Mark. I. Fantastic. Almost unanimous. Yeah. Oh, okay. a motion from the trustees. Uh, I so move that we take the, the sandblasting of both the columns and the fireplace. Second. 
Okay, vote wrong upon our eye. And my Senate. We'll find the money, Ken. We will. We'll find out. Turning upside down. Yeah. That's not. We'll go to the first level and ask for something. I'll let you do that. You know you had a comedy show, John. Next agenda item is a letter from the ADA coordinator, Jonathan Taylor, regarding accessible EWSs. EWS. I understand that you don't have the letter right. prepared, but you may have it for the next meeting. Yes. So we're going to pass on that table then. Uh, Close warrant article to reclassify special article eight. Special time yeah. meeting, November 16. Well, that, that's the name of the article when it passed on. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 one of, oh yeah. November 16th. That's what it was, that's what it was initially. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this has come up, you know, that is on the agenda for a few meetings now. And every time it's been on the agenda, um, there's been some discussion. There's been some back and forth in the committee. And so I was thinking about it, especially what Ron said at the last meeting, um, where he's, he has his con con concerns about optics, um, messaging. You know, we're presenting that we're coming in under budget. And, and as of right now, you know, we are. And then, you know, that's the message we're doing. And then we go to the town and say, oh, by the way, um, there's this, this, this $87,000, you know, such article that we, we want. And then it becomes optically. Um, why? Why? And so I'm here. I, I just I'm just wondering now. Is this even the time for this, or do we just let the sleeping dogs lie and take it off the agenda and yeah. not discuss? Well, it. that's a great point. So I suggest that the Warren article will stay live as long as the library still occupies that building. We are not looking for occupancy for the new library until after the end of the fiscal year. Mm -hmm. So I would say we stay we do nothing mm -hmm. next June. We ask for that article to stay alive so it doesn't close out at the end of the fiscal year. We see where we are with the project just before occupancy. And if we need that funds, then, then we go to town meeting. The only problem is it'll be in November. So so we have to do it for the annual. Yes, mm -hmm. which more people will be at the, uh, the meeting, which is democracy. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. there we go. Okay. All right. Okay. Everybody comfortable? Yeah. 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 I feel, yeah, yeah. given the, makes sense. yeah, I think that's the right move. I think we'll then, we'll also have a much better opportunity to understand the final budget. Yep. Yeah. I think that, I think because that's Because we may actually be able to come in and ask for less. So I, I, I think, think to knows. satisfy the town power, because she's asking for this, we, if you haven't already done so, are the trustees in charge of that for article? I don't know. Mm, good. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I think you're going to have to officially ask the town council to leave that article open as mm -hmm. it sits now yep. and not close it out. Right, right. She will. Well, I, I have to, you know, keep it open and not until last this week. So but she's also asked us for two she, that, That's correct. Yes. So I think yes. I would officially okay. have to leave that warrant article open yep. as it sits mm -hmm. for its current purpose yep. until further notice. Yep. Good point. Any other We've already discussed the next uh, agenda item. Notification. Yeah, we'll, we'll put that in. Yeah, the next, because again, the wording of that needs to be carefully crafted. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll, uh, sure. we'll bring it to the next meeting. Approval of the minutes for August 29, 2024. I hope everybody's <coughs> had an opportunity to read those minutes. I want to get a motion to approve those minutes. Motion to approve the minutes of August 24. Second. Any discussion or any clarification on the minutes? If not, I'll call for a vote starting with Ron. Ron O'Connor, aye. Jonathan Gale, aye. Kim Pacheco's an aye. Pat Gale's aye. Mark Brown, aye. James, aye. You have aye. Cole Mello, aye. Boris, aye. Thank you. Passes by unanimously. I'll entertain a motion from the trustees to approve the minutes. I make a motion that we approve the minutes of the August 29th, 2024 meeting. Second. Any discussion? Vote for Ron O'Connor, aye. Yeah, Mike, so aye. Motion passes. The next meeting, no one. I think we can start meeting every two weeks now. Versus every week, if we had to like a certain time, we to. Is everybody okay with that? Meeting every two weeks instead of every week. The 26th. 26th. Jonathan, did you reach out to the grant writer people for October 3rd? 
Um, I did, and we can do it if they would like us to meet then. Um, they can also come the following week if we go every two weeks. So if we went the 26th, I will be out of town. I would join by Zoom. But if we did, instead of the third, and did every two weeks, we'd be meeting on the 10th. I won't be here for the 10th. Sorry? I will be here for the 10th. But that's okay. As much as I'd like to hear about grant writing. You can still there. I mean, I can extend it to the 24th. I think they can do it. Is that better? Because there's a few things. I mean, we already want to have the, the town account at one of these meetings and so forth, too. So there's going to be other things that can make the meeting time or the agenda longer. <clears throat> And we don't have the formal committee yet either because we want to take that back. We want to take that back to the boss. That's the second Yeah. So. That should work. 24. Like three or four? Three? Three. Are they okay that late in the day? Do you believe you okay that late in the day, Jonathan? Yes. They're going to <laughs> That work being called? Yeah, what date did we take? The 24th at 3. Oh. So September 24th? No, no, no. no. Oh, October 26th. Oh. Yeah, September 26th will be our next meeting. Okay, okay. okay. No. So the next three meetings will be September 26, October 10, October 24th. Okay, okay. okay. Three o'clock for all of them, if I'm assuming. It's okay for everybody. Okay. So is everybody available then on this 26th if we ask the town cabinet if she can be here with us in person by Zoom? Mm -hmm. One or two weeks? Yes. yes. You want to Zoom? You said yeah, I'm going to be Zoom. I just wanted to go and ask there because I heard people saying there would be a certain meetings. Mark, do you think that that budget spreadsheet that uh, we talked about, do you think that'll be ready for that meeting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that'll be, so if you can explain, maybe she can come help us support that discussion as well. And then that can be sort of the, the committees want to talk to this and wants to be. So, so who's going to ask the town comment to uh, join us at the next meeting? Follow. <laughs> for Mark, I'm asking for the stretch. <laughs> I'm asking for the stretch. 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 For For the stretch. For the stretch. For the stretch. For the stretch. Well, you can let the committee assess the chief. I'm going to look at this ring and we've got it. So I'll give it a letter and I'll say that we're inviting you to the next meeting for a deeper discussion. What's that? That's all we're working on. Yeah, so we don't, you know, I didn't even, because this is a surprise. We don't want any more surprises. Right, exactly. If we change something, send it further. Right, change something, send it further. Can it help her to understand how everything is being funded? And the sources all that are all together. You know, to yes. look at yeah. everything all together mm -hmm. rather mm -hmm. than piecemeal. Yeah. And we're actually engaged mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are there any other concerns or questions? Yeah. Uh, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Call for roll call home sign of one. Rob Connor, I. Jonathan Gale, aye. Kevin Chico's aye. Pat Gale's aye. Mark Rappadettes. James Aguilar, aye. No, aye. Mark Tavares, aye. Yes. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn the Library Trustees meeting that's a joint meeting with the uh, committee. Yes, someone. Second. The vote, Mark Rappadettes, aye. Thank you, son. Figure of Rusha, aye. Trustees have a poor plot meeting. That's why. Where did that one go? Yeah, more things, but it's here. Nobody's walking in, and I don't think anybody's zooming in, so I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. Okay. This is the first time we want to. Do you need to? It's much more interesting to be in the first time. Yeah.